vlogmas we are on day 16 today it's december 14th today so back ahead a couple of days which is nice just gives like a little bit of a buffer when like filming and editing but yeah we're getting close to the finish line so i'm very proud of myself but yeah december 14th today it's wednesday um i did a lot this morning i'm gonna chat later about the funk that i was in yesterday but this morning my goal was like to get back on track with routines that make me feel good which i'll explain later but i did like my full morning routine as you saw which is getting up boiling the water making some lemon water journaling meditating just like a little bit of reflection and then i'll do like some emails and stuff then we have a big breakfast i get ready for the day and we take able for a walk now i just made a crock pot chicken noodle soup because i again i'll talk about this later but i've been like slacking on going to the gym and i have a class booked at five o'clock today and i don't want to have the mindset of like oh i should skip it because like i should make dinner so i made a crock pot chicken noodle soup so that will be ready for when i am home from the gym and yeah and i just made a coffee i'm just waiting for the milk to froth and now i'm gonna get to work so it's been like a whole morning i am I have like some meetings today, but nothing crazy. So I'm just wearing this like oversized cardigan from Marshalls and this tank top. And I'm wearing the Wonder Under trainers from, or leggings from Lululemon. So yeah, that's the morning. I'm not wearing any makeup because the meetings that I do have, I don't have to like have my camera on. So I'm just trying to like leave my face as fresh as possible for as long as I can. Cause I feel like this time of year, there's so many events I'm like always putting makeup on my face and I'm like breaking out a little bit like here so I just want to like breathe as much as I can so you gotta look at this today but anyways yeah that was my morning I'm feeling so much better today which again I'll get into later when I have like a little sit down chat um but I'm feeling so good today it's just like it's such a good feeling when you can get back into your routines and do the things that make you feel good. So that's what the mission is today. Do things that make me feel good, listen to my body, and get into it. So I'm going to go get my coffee now, and I'm going to sit down and do some work. I have a little bit of editing to do. I have some work work, and then I have like like a long meeting for work. We're doing this like DEI, like diversity, equity, inclusion training. And it's like two and a half hours and I have a couple other meetings. So it's like a big day on calls today, but that's okay. It's all good. Anyways, happy Vlogmas. Welcome back. I hope I introduced myself. I'm Megan, if you're new here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm doing Vlogmas, so 25 days of uploads. We are on the home stretch here, but otherwise I normally post twice a week. Um, usually Wednesdays and Saturdays, all things like lifestyle, wellness, my life. So, anyways, let's go. because I wear like this like headset um, and it presses on my ears all the time but I'm just like wrapping up for the day and I wanted to show you guys the soup that I made this morning so um, like I said I had done like the crock pot situation it has been on for about six hours at this point inside the soup there is two um, cartons of chicken broth some celery carrot onion and then I have some seasoning and I actually had the chicken in there I put it in whole um, and then now it's at a point where I was able to shred it it's super easy it just like falls apart but this is all the chicken so I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in Let's see if I can do this with one hand put it back in perfect 
and just stir that back in. I think it's got about two more hours, but it's basically ready. Like people can eat whenever. But when we're ready to eat, I'm gonna add in the noodles, which hopefully I have some because I didn't look. This is like the cupboard of craziness. Yeah, we're gonna do like an egg noodle. It's not this brand that I normally get, but I think there is some more up there hiding. But yeah, an egg noodle is what we're gonna put into it. But yeah, that's the plan right now. And then I'm going to the gym at five. I have to leave here in about an hour. It's about 3.35 right now and I have to leave at maybe like 4.45ish. It's like my first time in the gym in so long. I'm nervous for this workout, but yeah, it's my little update. Okay. It's later, it's 5.20, and I'm not at my gym appointment, <laughs> or gym class. I was chatting with Daniel for far too long and missed it, but I'm not gonna miss a workout because I'm annoyed with myself that I haven't been, so I'm gonna do a little at-home workout here, and Sophia and I are gonna watch Chicago PD while I do the workout because it's something. an episode of Chicago PD or finished the episode we like stopped to eat dinner and stuff um cleaned up the kitchen and now we just finished our episode so I'm gonna go edit here in a second but I thought we would have like a little sit down chat of like what I was referencing earlier with how I was feeling so the last couple days I have felt like very not like myself very like down in the dumps like classic pity party vibes and just like not feeling good and it's so easy for our minds to spiral and I can basically convince myself that my life sucks um if I like let my mind get to that place which obviously is just a story made up I'm like incredibly blessed I have an amazing life like I love everything about it but obviously there's times when you're feeling down and a lot of things just get to you and I know it's like a combination of things in my life obviously like vlogmas is a lot to film every day I edit and upload is very consuming but also I have like regular work I hosted not one but two events in the same week right after getting home from our honeymoon um, we also had our Christmas festivities, like there was just like a lot going on in terms of life, but I had like a moment yesterday where I basically like broke down when I was talking to Daniel and I was just, I don't know, just like down in the dumps, like not feeling good. I had these feelings like I'm not good enough. I'm not where I want to be. Like I should be here. Like I suck. Like just like literally down on myself like telling myself all these things like having all these limiting beliefs these negative thought patterns and it kind of just like spiraled to the point of like I had like a little essentially like a mini meltdown and we've all been there like I know now being on the other side of it it's like I know that's not a reality I know that's not my life I'm just going through like a hard period where I'm burnt out I'm stressed I'm overwhelmed and um it happens but obviously like again now that being out of it I can see it for what it is but when you're in it as you know you feel like absolute crap and so yeah I just like had a moment of like reflection with Daniel and like chatting it out with him because he 
is like my go-to person for all that stuff but I was thinking about like okay what am I doing to make myself feel better in these situations or what am I doing to contribute to the mood and the emotions that I'm feeling and I realized that because life has been so busy like all the things I just mentioned like throwing two events doing vlogmas having our Christmas festivities working wrapping up the year all of that stuff I've put all of like my routines habits and things that make me feel good on the back burner because I just like haven't had time to prioritize them because we've had so much going on and then I'm like tired and then I just want to chill and I don't want to do anything and and it's just yeah it's just a reminder that I'm clearly not doing the things that make me feel good and so one of the things is my morning routine so almost every day this weekend last week I got up quite late and by late I mean like around 8 a.m so that might not like sound that late but it is for me and so yeah I got up at 8 a.m which means that I don't have time at that point to do my morning routine because um we're that's basically the time we would start like making breakfast and like taking Abel out and getting ready for the day so I usually do my morning routine like an hour before that so I was skipping my morning routine every morning which like for me that's like a non-negotiable it's like helps me feel really grounded and makes me feel like I'm in control of my day I haven't been to the gym and I literally can't even tell you how long I mean all of vlogmas like I've filmed every single day and I don't think in any of these videos I've gone to the gym or maybe I have I don't know but it's been like weeks and normally I'm a person who goes like at least four times a week and so in general like moving your body exercise is really good for your health but it like relieves stress um gets the blood flowing all of that stuff and I haven't done that and that was why tonight I was supposed to go to a gym class I booked it at five and it would have gone till six and I specifically made a crock pot soup because I was like I don't want to have like a mindset of oh I don't think I should go to the gym because I'm going to get back so late and I have to cook dinner like I wanted to be prepared but unfortunately I got caught up in having a conversation with Daniel so I missed the class <laughs> funny enough um like ironic based off everything I'm saying but I was like I'm ha I'm doing like an at home workout like I'm moving my body it might not be the same as the class but like I'm doing a freaking workout and I did it and I felt so good to just like sweat and move my body um so that's another thing I haven't been doing and this time of year in Ontario we don't get a lot of sunlight during the day these last two weeks are the darkest days of the year and so ultimately like not getting outside in the sun it's difficult like it just puts a damper on your mood no matter what but throughout the day I'm just going on two short walks with Abel but I'm really like not getting up not moving my body not getting outside and sitting at my desk like it's not really like stimulating and I feel like very stagnant um and then another like if you watched one of my other videos like I talk about like a non-negotiable for me is like taking a break during the day and eating my lunch and like doing something else like not sitting at my desk and almost every day I've eaten lunch at my desk while continuing to work or doing something. The other thing that I normally do is like an evening routine where I like to wind down and like whether it's like watch vlogmas or read or whatever drink my tea that's like really important but I have like basically alone time to just like decompress from the day and I haven't done that either because of vlogmas and I've been like editing really late so therefore I'm like on my computer like working really late again I'm like stimulated because like I'm working and so yeah there's like a few other things but ultimately like all of these things that I do normally on a day-to-day -day basis are because they make me feel my best are that they're because they make me feel good they're because they make me get like feel productive and like motivate me and like inspire me to do more things and so the fact that I haven't been doing any of those things there's no like of course like mentally and emotionally I'm exhausted and drained and I'm having a meltdown and I'm crying and I'm not feeling good about myself because I'm not doing the things that make me feel good. I'm not prioritizing myself. I'm not filling my own cup. I'm not putting my own needs first. 
And I always think of the plane analogy when you are getting ready for takeoff and the flight attendant does like the security protocols and they tell you like if the oxygen mask comes down, you have to put your oxygen mask on first before you help someone else. And that's really because you have to be in good shape and good health to be able to then help others around you. And it's the same thing. It's like if I'm putting my needs last because I feel like I have to give myself to all these other areas, there's going to come a point in time when I have nothing left to give because I haven't put myself first and filled my own cup and like make sure my health was in a good place. So yeah, it definitely was a reminder. I feel like that happens a lot and obviously there's different seasons for being busy and like feeling overwhelmed and like lots is happening and so I don't necessarily want to like use it as an excuse but I'm giving myself grace to like, okay, like it happened and I have the awareness of it but I made sure today I like got up. I did my morning routine. I took a break and had some lunch. I did the workout like I did things that made me feel good and I definitely don't feel like 100% like I'm sure it'll take me a bit to catch up but um overall I would say like I feel a lot better than I did yesterday and yeah it's just like a reminder to check in with yourself and depending on how you're feeling reflect on what are you doing to make yourself feel good like how are you filling your, your cup how are you prioritizing your needs and ask yourself what you need because that's the most important thing. First and foremost, to take care of yourself before you take care of others. It's not selfish to do that. Um, it's important. So anyways, yeah, I wanted to chat about that because um, I referenced a couple things in this vlog. It probably didn't make sense. And yesterday you would have just seen a night routine. So probably not much context um, in terms of like how I'm feeling. But like I said before, I want to be transparent on this channel and share the ins and outs of my life because not every day is perfect and that's okay but I also want to share that if other people are feeling this way whether you're feeling overwhelmed burnt out stressed sad angry like know that that's okay but also reflection on like how you're treating yourself or how you're showing up for yourself is important too so that's my little mental health mental wellness chat um yeah like I said I'm like doing a lot better today I think it'll take a couple days of like getting back into the swing of things I booked myself a yoga class tomorrow so that'll be good too to move my body sweat it out and yeah I'm gonna go back to the sauna on the weekend so that always makes me feel good so I'm just gonna do things that make me feel good anywho I am gonna go funny enough edit now I think it's about like 7 40 ish 7 7 45 so I'm hoping to get everything done in like an hour and a half if I'm lucky um, and then I'm going to unwind, have my tea and then just um, chill for the night. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I'm not going to do much else like you'll just see me on the computer editing and then getting ready for bed. So yeah, I think that's it for today. But thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, thanks for listening. Um, I will see you in tomorrow's video.